All right, let's um let's talk about Candace Owens. What everybody came here for, huh? Y'all came here. I I freaking had to had some words for her. Oh my god, uh, that I watched that video. It's like almost eighteen minutes long. I couldn't get through it. I couldn't either because the first up to the first five minutes, I was like, all right, I've I've heard enough. So for those of y'all who don't know, um, Candace Owens went on to what's that damn streaming platform that Twitter uses? Periscope. Yeah, she went on there. I kept trying to figure that name out for the longest. She went on the Periscope and basically said that black people cater to the bottom of society. So uh-huh. we idolize criminals, uh, murderers, thieves, rapists, all of this other shit, which I want to say, I want to call bullshit because America in itself has always glorified snitches, rats. The, uh-huh. Look at, I mean, movies. No, I mean, they, they, America, the, uh, they've always done a great job of some of their Confederate heroes and some of their biggest heroes are just as the president is in. The, I mean, look at Trump. So, yeah, we, we might glorify a few drug dealers. And, you know, uh, I, I did say I think a lot of a lot of and I don't want to say it the wrong way, but a lot of black women, when they're younger, they do. They do seem what to desire more of the the criminal type, right? The thug type, you know. And then they get a little older, they get a couple of heartbreaks, and then they get smarter and they go on to the the good guys. But I mean, bitch, any uh, America's always been about gangsters. And look, Al Capone. Yep, that's what Al- I was getting into. Mobster movies. Yeah, and I like, watch all. This has been an American thing, uh-huh. like. And it just so happens that I guess black people, quote unquote, look cooler at it, right? Because your your kids are the same ones that that come out here, white people's kids, and you know, other races who don't think who think that they're better than black, but whatever. Y'all kids love our culture. Y'all oh, yeah. love to watch our movies. Paid in Full was a movie about you know drug it's dealers. Cool. Turn friends, yeah, they were poor. Then they got rich. I advise Al Pacino and Scarface. Why can't you do the same with Denzel and Frank Lucas? Exactly. It's a good movie, you know what I mean? Exactly. You know, at least uh, Frank Lucas was a real story. I mean, they they yep. took that, uh, they took the Pablo Escobar thing in Scarface, but yeah. she's a broad face looking bitch. And I mean, I don't even know her, her how much money she got. She's a conservative. I Did guess you? she's Trump's payroll. She she's married to a white guy too, so yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah. I've seen some of her shows. She's just she's, she's disgusting. I, I don't know how much they're paying her. To, she just wants to. I think it's so much momentum is coming, and she's got to right. find a way to slow the momentum down. Because she basically went up there and said, "Oh, um, George Floyd is not a martyr." Nobody yeah, said not, he was a martyr. They say he's not a hero. I'm like, no one right. said he was a hero. Nobody said he was a hero. This is just I, the straw that broke the. The camera I'm not back. Kids be like George Floyd when they grow up. I'm just saying yeah. what happened to him was a catastrophe, and it just it happened at the right time, and America all seemed it, and everyone just blacked out. No yep. pun intended. That's what happened. And no one said was a hero. I mean, that, that's that white supremacist talking. I want this thing about Candace Owens. You don't have to be white to be a white supremacist. No, what about even white supremacy? You can be any race. You've seen the Dominicans and dyke men running out niggas out the neighborhood, which is them, crazy. Go. That's yeah. so crazy because when no, when when Lil no, Junior got stabbed up, when Lil Junior got stabbed up, who was who was, wrong, yeah. who was there standing arm in arm with them? Yeah, and then like I say, they they kissed and made up afterwards and was like, "Yo, it's all good, it's all good." But a lot of immigrants that come here. And because the media has brainwashed people that black people are the lowest scum in America with thieves, crooks, gangsters, uh, uneducated, they, they feed you this in the media and in television. And then when a lot of immigrants come over here, they think that about us. A lot of Africans come here and they think that about right. us. You see the old African lady in D.C. telling people, black people are just, they're criminals. They don't work. They kill each other. I mean, it's, it's a, this shit is deeper than you think. It's not just white people that are in you know, white supremacists in their mind. Like, it's, a, it's, 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 it's so complex. It's a man. mental thing. Yeah, it's programming. Like I say, they, they, a lot of people come over here and that's why they treat you the way that they do when they come here. It could be the Koreans that came to your neighborhood and started selling you shit and they treat you like, like menace to society. Yeah. Hurry up and die. Yeah. You know? They just want like, your money. They really don't give a fuck about, think about it. Think about it like this. Every Chinese store, right, in the hood, 
None of them have tables in there. Nigga, get your food and get the fuck out of here. They got the bulletproof glass in case you want to start talking shit. Yeah, we got the bulletproof glass, the dirty menu. The dirty dirty menu. menu. They'll sell you anything you want, but you cannot stay here and and eat. They've been social distancing before social distancing was the thing. Oh, yeah. You want egg roll? Yep. All right, here's your egg roll. Get the fuck out. Yeah, if you ask them for a duck sauce or uh, an extra fortune cookie, they'll give you an attitude. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's, like I said, you don't have to be, Candace is living proof. You don't have to be white to be a white supremacist, man. It's, right. But the funny thing is, you know, they they don't, I don't I don't know any white people that's really fucking with her like that. You know what I mean? I don't think so either because she, she sounds like she's trying too hard. You know that, that new kid at school that tries to be down? Like, he wants to, he, he'll throw the biggest rock off the bridge at the car just to prove that he's oh, yeah, you know, yeah. with the cool kids. And that's, that's who she is. That's what they all want cools to understand. You will never impress them as much as you think. You know, you're thinking that you're using the system, but at the end of the day, they still look at you like you just want us. You're just a, a, a sellout. You a trade us. You're the mm-hmm. worst kind of person. And, uh, and so Candace Owens, another thing that she did was she brought up George Floyd's criminal uh, history, oh, yeah. his and record. Got from the media. The media does that. They did it with Mike Brown. Oh, well, he was buying blunts when he went to the store. I'm like, so what? <laughs> oh, they'll build like Ahmaud Arbery. They brought up his criminal record and put up his mugshot. That's an assassination of, of one's character. That's a trick that they do. She got she learned it from them, so she's learning. And she and- did, and she read it all off, right? And you know what bugged me the most is all right. If you call yourself a black conservative, right, I would think that you would know a little bit about the law. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you claim that you're quote unquote above, or you think that you're bad. And she identified herself as black, which fucking blew my mind. I was like, this woman is out of her fucking gourd. But she doesn't. What I what I was trying to get people to understand is when you go into that system, that criminal system, it's a revolving door. You get in trouble for something, you know, whatever, selling drugs, or you get caught with a gun, stolen cars, whatever it is, at, at your younger age, that thing follows you. So you come home, you're on parole, probation, you freaking get caught doing something else, jaywalking, hanging out with other felons, you're going right back in there. So everything she was reading off sound like they were violations, and that's why he kept going back to jail and going back to jail and going back to jail. But point being, what somebody did years ago does not define who they are today. Like yeah, Martha Stewart went to jail. That bitch got a show. She, I mean, she, and she, Martha Stewart was out here, man. She, she got the bag too. Like and Snoop, and she was in jail. Yeah, so, I mean, everyone's pass is what. I mean, I'm pretty sure Candace Owens got a pass. I mean, but oh, that's exactly. Why that man got killed? I could see if he, he, he had the AK out there, and they right. had to. Get them down by any means. That's different, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. That's just a, I don't know how that bitch sleeps at night. Next to a white man, protecting his uh, <laughs> with his white privilege, she sleep on a bed of white privilege. He tries to she tries to console as much of his white privilege as possible. Yeah. And um, dude, that that really pissed me off. That whole video, and you know, I was just like, and when she was like, "We as black people," I was like, "Who is we? Like you, you aren't one of us." Because for the coon community. what'd you say? You're speaking for the coon community. Yeah, might as she's well because coon. she's gonna coon any opportunity she she gets. She's gonna do it. Cause yeah, she and like to bring up a man's criminal past as if that's reason or that's enough reason to justify murdering this man in in the middle of the yeah. street on film. <laughs> But then she says she doesn't justify the murder. She says she stands and hopes the family gets justice. But you just want to put a little nudge in there and say, well, he was a criminal. Right. That, just nudge a, and be like, well, he wasn't perfect. It, perfect doesn't matter. That you, looks like something you would see on Fox News. Yeah. Like, uh, John Hannity would go on and say, well, this man shouldn't be a hero. He was a criminal. And they'll bring up his rec- rap sheet. And then they'll say, well, I kind of hope the family gets justice and sneak that in there. That's, right. that's Fox News tactic that she used. She's probably trying to get a job. Yeah, right. with I can see her with Fox News. I can see her. I could with- too. They, they give her and what's that other chick, Tommy Lauren? They give them a oh, show. She got kicked off, but yeah, Tommy Lauren. Yeah. I mean, they could bring it back. Whatever you know, yeah. she's got white privilege. Out of work too long. 